Think again if you believe that Romania is just home to vampires who wait in shadowy castles to prey on unwary travelers. Naturally, Transylvanian vampires have a significant influence, but Romania is much more than Count Dracula and the Brukenthal Palace from Bram Stoker. There are many of medieval castles in Romania, but it also has beautiful alpine scenery with opportunities for hiking and skiing year-round. It has adorable painted churches and charming villages. Millions of birds that may be found in the Danube Delta, where the river empties into the Black Sea, are equally amazing. Let's look at Romania's top tourist destinations. 1. Bran Castle Despite the fact that Bran Castle is frequently thought of as Dracula's residence, there is no proof that author Bram Stoker was ever aware of this old fortress. The castle, a famous site in Romania, peaks up from a hillside covered with trees not far from Brasov in Transylvania. This historic fortress, whose origins date back to the 13th century, is now a museum featuring items Queen Maria gathered, including paintings and furnishings. An outdoor museum with peasant structures from all around Romania is also located there. 2. Saisora Historic Center Saisora Historic Center would unquestionably confirm whatever preconceived beliefs you may have about what life was like in the Middle Ages. Old City Saisora is unquestionably the pinnacle of the medieval. Saisora is a superb illustration of a fortified medieval town. It was founded by Transylvanian Saxons in the 12th century. It has the customary stone structures in various colors lining the small streets. Vlad the Impaler, the model for Dracula in Bram Stoker's novel Dracula, was born there. Every July, Saisora hosts a festival with rock bands to commemorate its medieval heritage. 3. Palace of Parliament The Palace of Parliament in Bucharest, the nation's capital is anything but a medieval structure in a nation where such structures are commonplace. It is thought to be the largest administrative building in the world and is a wholly contemporary edifice. It was constructed over a 13-year period by 20,000 employees who worked non-stop. A team of 700 architects and designers worked on this architectural marvel. Due to the fact that it was constructed by Romania's despised president, Nicolae Susescu, the palace is a favorite tourism destination with international visitors, but not so much with locals. 4. Citadel of Alba Iulia The Citadel of Alba Iulia is among the most well-known tourist destinations in Romania. The main attractions include two magnificent churches, fascinating museums inside the medieval fortification, amazing sculptures, and bars where you can relax and take in the scenery. It's wonderful to walk between the inner and outer walls. Here, you can explore gardens, water features, eateries, and palaces. You can rent a bicycle or take a bus tour of the area if you'd like. Your breath will be taken away by the views of the city and the surrounding countryside. Highly advised for the ideal family vacation itinerary. 5. Mary Cemetery The Sapanta Town's Mary Cemetery isn't your typical everyday cemetery. With its brightly colored crosses, statues, and tombstones honoring the lives of the dead, it resembles a gallery of folk art more. In 1908, a 14-year-old kid who started carving crosses started this vibrant tradition. On the cross, he painted a portrait of the deceased and wrote verses. On occasion, he even depicted their death. A custom was established as a result. 
Deep blue serves as the background color for everything, while the other colors represent fertility, life, and death. Six, Beerton Fortified Church. The Beerton Fortified Church, which was originally constructed as a Catholic church when the area was a part of Hungary, towers over all other structures in Beerton. After the Reformation, it changed to a Lutheran congregation. Instead of constructing a fortification to stave off Ottoman invasions, the locals fortified the church. It is one of the largest fortified churches in Romania and was constructed in the late Gothic style. The church is renowned for its towers, including one that used as a food storage facility during sieges and another that housed divorcing husbands. Seven, Transylvanian Alps. The Transylvanian Alps, often referred to as the Southern Carpathians, aren't as high as the Rockies or the Himalayas. They typically have an elevation of under 2,000 meters. The exception is Mount Moldovianu, which is the highest peak in Romania at 2,544 meters, 8,346 feet. The rough mountains, speckled with sheet-filled meadows and wildflowers, make for some excellent summer trekking and winter skiing. Couch potatoes can hunt for legendary vampires on their own territory by visiting a mist-cloaked Gothic castle. Eight, Poyana Brasov. If you're looking for a change of pace after becoming sick of looking for vampires, think about Poyana Brasov. The resort is the most well-known in Romania and draws skiers from all around Europe. The ski resort, which is situated in the Carpathian Mountains, has seven slopes that provide a total of 25 kilometers, 15 miles, of skiing. Competitive figure skating and alpine skiing competitions are also held at the resort. Warm yourself up with a classic mulled wine or try some tuica, a plum-based, pepper-spiced beverage after a day of skiing or snowboarding. Nine, Danube Delta. The Danube Delta, the largest protected river delta in Europe, with the majority of it located in Romania, is the perfect place to indulge your love of nature. Binoculars should definitely be brought because this is a wonderland for observing animals, especially birds. For breeding or wintering, birds come here from as far afield as Egypt and China. The 300 bird species that can be found here thrive in the willow-lined waterways. Wildlife including wolves, wildcats, and the rare boar are also present. Ten, wooden churches of Maramures. Foreign overlords in Maramures forbade the inhabitants from constructing sturdy stone churches, so they turned to wood. Over a 200-year span, they constructed roughly 300 wood churches, just about 100 of which are still in use today. While there are a few Greek Catholic churches among these Gothic buildings, the majority are Orthodox. The churches typically have tall, slender bell towers, which shows a high level of carpentry. At the same time, they are straightforward and sophisticated. Many churches' interiors are decorated with hand-painted murals. <laughs>